Coronavirus is messing with people's holiday plans for a second year in a row, and that's causing a lot of people to come out here and get vaccinated, and it's causing others to storm the stores looking for an at-home test. We asked if that's creating a shortage of those tests. It's considered one of the easiest ways to get a rapid test before a holiday gathering, an at-home COVID test, but they're tough to find. This is video we got inside stores today. HEB, Walgreens, and CVS telling KPRC there's no shortage, but can Firm, they're flying off the shelves as fast as they can get them. Jennifer Kiger with Harris County Public Health says it's important to get tested no matter how or where. Harris County Public Health provides the PCR tests and there is plenty of capacity right now for people to go to any of our sites and get tested. They will get the results in about 36 to 48 hours and it is the more reliable test um, for people to take. With that time frame in mind, she says you need to get tested today or tomorrow to have results by Christmas. And she says cases are on the rise and it's looking bad. The increase is something we haven't seen really in the last year. Um, the doubling rate for Omicron is higher than what we had for the Delta variant. And so we, we will continue to see increases in cases. According to C-Track, hospitalizations across 25 counties in Southeast Texas look like this. 625 total admissions, 153 of those are ICU patients, and there are 35 pediatric hospitalizations. Houston Methodist says soon they expect all infections to be from the Omicron variant. The vaccine clinic is closing here today, but they're going to be back out on Wednesday 9 to 3 with the Pfizer vaccine. Reporting from the Holocaust Museum, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.